Majestic Sound. Hey, 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 what up, what up? It's your boy Toby D, and you know what it is. It's Faith Football Fans, my Christian audio podcast. Look, I'm going to jump right on into it. I've been quiet at this point, just sitting back and observing. And some of these teams in the NFC South just don't straight forget who the Falcons are. Yes, I know for the last three seasons, we haven't been able to be the team that we once were back leaving from the 2012 season and having a championship season almost making it to the Super Bowl but of course as Brandy say almost doesn't count but what I'm really getting tired of is you Panthers fans out there now I know I'm Christian I'm supposed to uphold the peace that's what I'm supposed to do but y'all is wearing me out right now you think you're on top of the world but here's the key thing you don't have a ring yes you've been to the Super Bowl one more time than anybody in NFC South, but you still came away without the bling bling. Cam Newton got his butt straight whipped when he went up there and played in that Super Bowl, got towed up, crying because he wasn't getting calls. Well, that's no surprise because he normally does that when he doesn't have things going the way that he wants. Looking crazy at the post game presser. That's y'all quarterback. That's the quarterback you got. Now, sometimes I get mad at Matt Ryan, but Matt Ryan don't cry like your boy Cam Newton does. That's just what he does for a living with you Panthers fans. That's the quarterback you want. Yeah, I ain't going to take nothing from him. The guy plays well. He was the MVP, but dude. He got to still mature in this game since being in the game in 2011, and he still has yet to do that as y'all leader. Now, you can't really say anything to me, because really the only teams that can really say anything are the two teams that got bling bling, and that's Tampa Bay, and that's the Saints. Now, it's in question how the Saints got that bling bling, but nonetheless, they got it. So stop coming to me and then talking about you got the nerve to talk about that the dome is going to be the Panthers' new home. Well, you can have this home. Cause we about to vacate the home anyway. 2017, we won't even be in the dome. But don't think you're going to come in here week four trying to beat us in our dome again. We will represent. We will show up and show y'all again what it's all about. And you probably won't even make the playoffs this year. I hope to God, I really do, that Dan Quinn and his staff is preaching good to our team because I really want to win this division. I'm tired of your miles. I can't take it anymore. And Tampa Bay, you got the nerve to come on Twitter and put a post and send it to our Atlanta Falcons Twitter page about the two times y'all beat us. Look, y'all ought to be thanking us. Really, you're kind of sad because you can't keep a coach. You keep firing the coaches that you got. You got a coach fired. And you, we basically help promote the other coach that you got. You got to dip into our coaching pot in order to even try to hope to win the division for one. Which that is funny. It's a laugh because you haven't done that in so long. I can't even remember the last time. But you got Dirt Cutter and then you go out there and get Mike Smith. Now, I'm really hoping for old times sake that we can whip Mike Smith pretty good. So that we can see that red face blow up on him when he's upset because y'all missing assignments on your defense with that amoeba style defense where he basically confused himself out of a job. And that's why he's not the Atlanta Falcons coach anymore because he confused himself so badly he forgot who he was. Now, maybe he'll remember that with y'all. We'll see. And it's just unfortunate for the Saints fans. They don't even realize how bad they are right now defensively offensively you got rid of everybody you don't know what to do about your defensive coordinator situation Dennis Allen you don't even know what he's going to be with y'all right now he got fired from the Raiders he had not really been anything tough since leaving the Denver Broncos but we'll see I just can't take it anymore you gotta stop it Falcons we need to rise up fans we need to rise up and let's beat these boys and show them what it's all about again my name is Toby D Faith football fans, I had to get that out. Peace. I'm out.